back off. If anyone can imagine what the children at Sandy Hook Elementary School went through today, it is 30-year-old Sam Granillo. Well, I see this very differently because I'm a survivor from the 1999 Columbine shootings. Sam is making a documentary of his experience. I was 17 years old and a junior in high school at Columbine. It was Tuesday. It was a pretty sunny day for the most part. Uh, no clouds in the sky, nice and blue. That day, he was supposed to have lunch with 17-year-old Rachel Scott. Instead, he was studying in the cafeteria when a teacher ran in and told everyone to hide. I get under the table. Everyone gets under the table, under their tables in the cafeteria. And then we hear some like really loud booms and explosions. When the same teacher returned, telling them to flee, he and more than a dozen other students hid in a small office and listened while the two shooters, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, systematically executed their classmates. It's just rapid fire. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, gunshots, pipe bombs, uh, just explosions. It was friends killing friends. And that is just like, that melts my insides like you wouldn't believe. It's, it's crazy. They struggled to keep the door closed from an intruder. The door made it open about that, that far, and people were pushing on my legs, and I was pushing really hard with my feet. And um, Do you believe that was one of the gunmen trying to get in? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I listened to some of the 911 tapes, and it sounds like it. The ordeal went on for more than 45 minutes, but if the shooting was horrific, the aftermath was even worse. And I step outside and the first thing that I see is a body on the ground, like four feet in front of me. Um, a student? Yeah, uh, and it just looked like they died before they hit the ground. I mean, it, it just a slumped, collapsed. He saw a second body, a young woman, but didn't realize who it was until later. It was Rachel Scott, the classmate he was supposed to have lunch with. Man, when I found out that it was Rachel, it's, it's indescribable how it feels to be around something so horrific and see someone and, and then be told later that you know that person. Sam still bears the scars. Images from today's shooting bring back the past. He says survivors need years of counseling, something he can't afford. So even after all these years, he still feels guilt. The survivor's guilt is crazy. It's just the way it makes you play the what if game. I should have been hurt more. I should have, I should have died. This person, I, if, this, you know, if this could have been different, if that could have been different. He feels authorities have learned much from Columbine. Back in 1999, police hesitated to enter the school. <laughs> this time they went in immediately and may have saved lives. Call is indicating she thinks there's someone shooting in the building. And Sam thinks he has something to offer too. We're here at Columbine High School right now. I'm gonna he is hoping his documentary, Columbine, Wounded Minds, will help the latest survivors. It's like you just go through all these things and, and you know, you just can't escape that. But once you realize that there's nothing that you could have done to change the way it happened, you know, that's a big step.